frustrated with dating apps and the way guys behave on them. Are we all a bit guilty of making the experience less than pleasant sometimes? Probably. Um, I read recently somewhere um, that uh, a lot of gay guys are very unhappy um, because of Grindr. Uh, so that's one of the, the apps um, that make people unhappy. Uh, Facebook is another app which doesn't really make people happy, but the reason Grindr doesn't make people happy is um, because they end up spending too much time on it. It's not necessarily because, you know, it's, uh, you know, doing something bad for their self-esteem or they're not finding anybody, it's just they're spending way too much time on it and that makes it a bit frustrating. And I think we can all really understand that. Now, while there may not always be a right way to deal with everyone, um, there certainly are some things that we shouldn't be doing at all on dating apps, and there's some things that we shouldn't be doing without. A profile picture. A profile picture is the first thing I'm going to be discussing with you guys who use apps like Grindr and Scruff, and um, there are a lot of other apps out there, but um, the most popular ones are Grindr and Scruff, at least where I'm at, as well as Tinder. So I'm going to talk about Tinder a little bit. For the most part, it's going to be Grindr. Um, so first, we're going to be ta tackling um, your profile photo. Uh, what's this? Some of you may ask, because um, for more than 50%, uh, at least where I'm at, um, I find that people don't have a profile photo at all. Um, so they're just, they're just blank and you know, they're yet another 20 or 30% will have somebody else's picture or they'll have pictures of something totally unrelated uh, and silly and maybe a hot hunky guy and maybe that makes you think, oh wow, I'm going to... I'm going to be messaging this guy. Uh, for the most part, I think we've all learned uh, to realize that it's never going to be that guy. I am a, a Grindr member, so I actually pay a monthly subscription to be a, a proper Grindr member, and so I get to see all of the uh, all of the people that are on Grindr, and not just a select few. And I'm very happy to pay. Uh, because I know that's when you get value and, and you are obviously getting back to something very important in your life and that's finding somebody, whether it's somebody to hook up with, whether it's somebody to date, whether it's somebody to be in a relationship with, it's an important part of your life and there's no reason why you shouldn't pay um, a little bit. So, um, a picture. A picture is worth a thousand words and sometimes it saves us a lot of trouble. Um, so I have a picture on my profile, um, I always have one and um, I like changing the picture you know, once a week. What I can't understand is you know, people who don't have one. Like I will always have a face picture, it may be with my body, it may just be my face, it may be the full me. Um, uh, and you know, that's because I'm over 40 and you know, I couldn't be bothered about and I'm open to most of my family and friends. I understand for a lot of people you can't do it for a variety of reasons. So it's not as if I don't get it. I just feel that a lot of people all over the world um, have fought very hard for rights. Um, for gay rights, for LGBTQ rights, uh, and um, you know, for for your rights to even get married um, to a uh, same-sex partner uh, or whoever you choose to get married to. Um, so you know, I, I I just don't understand this whole concept of discreet. Um, I I equate discreet with being cowardly, um, childish. You know, um, you know. It's, it just doesn't make sense to me. I generally am put off by profiles that just say discreet. Um, I, it, it does nothing for me. I'm not attracted to that sort of uh, person. Um, of course, I know people have varied reasons. And in some cases, in some countries, it's necessary. Um, but I can't understand it where it is not necessary. Uh, so that being said, I think that if you, know, you can have a picture, then you should definitely have your picture. I think we need to sort of step up and start being men uh, and start being grown up. I know 39 and 40 year olds who still are not out. Um, and I met somebody uh, uh, a month ago and he's 39 and he's still not out and I was like, oh my God, 
And, you know, as interesting as he may have seemed, I would not want to go out with him. And, you know, there are a lot of issues that a person that age is dealing with and behavior pattern and everything. It's just not nice. Um, of course, that, this is a whole other video. Um, I'm veering off point from the... Uh, I think that um, since Grindr also vets uh, photos, I feel that they shouldn't allow pictures of flowers or cute puppies or whatever it is. Uh, it should just be a photo of you, right? Um, and, and I think that that's really, really important. Um, Alright, so if you do have a profile picture, please Try to make it nice. Take an effort. You know, those are a couple of pictures that I have used um, on my grinder profile and um, so I, I love doing you know I mean I'll do a shirtless picture I'll do one in a tie um, you know it's just it's just fun and then I'll get different sorts of messages for different sorts of pictures and be like oh I like your profile um, yeah then what uh, so um, yeah when you're taking a picture then you know I think don't wear sunglasses because your eyes are important and you know if you've got pretty eyes there's no point covering it and if you do cover it you wonder what is that person trying to hide so and smile I you know why not smile I see so many profile pictures when somebody's just turning their face or they're not smiling or they're making this weird contorted face and especially for guys who aren't that great looking for them to you know I mean it's all right to be a little funny as well but for the most part, we're looking for attraction, right, on these apps. So let's be realistic. And um, no matter how you look, I think we can all sort of dress up a little bit for a picture. Um, or maybe look nice or have a nice background or a nice sort of location where you take the picture. All of that makes a difference. I don't see why that whole profile page or those pictures shouldn't look so pretty and so stunning. Um, hunky torso pics are really really um, yummy to look at um, but uh, if you have a not so great face I don't care how hot your body is I am probably not going to continue a chat with you um, even if I'm somebody who's looking just to hook up for the most part I have found that I will not hook up with guys who have great bodies but not so much where the face department goes. So I can actually, I'd rather meet somebody with a cute face and an okay body, um, even though a good body is nice to have. Uh, so, so yeah, I think more emphasis on the face. Um, I, I get a lot of messages with people sending me shots of their lower half of the body, like their torso and their cock and their ass. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, I, I realize what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, and I'm very good at what I do with that. But, no. Of course, this is from my point of view. For a lot of guys, just having that is enough. Um, which is fine. Um, but a lot of times I've noticed that even those types of pictures are really, really ugly. And I'm like, ew. You know, or it scares me. Um, so I think we need to like... Uh, realize that it's a lot more than just cock and ass and even if it is cock and ass maybe it needs to be presented a little bit better and in a, in a more palatable pleasing beautiful way because cocks can be really beautiful DP not me DP not me um, you know that turns me off the most like if that display picture is not you why have you put it up you know, it makes no sense because you clearly are never going to match that display picture. That display picture has drawn me in and anything you send to me after that is just probably going to disappoint me, right? So I, I just think it, it doesn't make any sense, um, you know, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. More pics. Body. So this guy sends me this message, more pics, body. Now, does he have a profile pic? No. 
does he send me a picture? No. Um, so, I'm like, fuck you. Um, that's rude. First learn how to use the app before actually messaging somebody. First learn some manners before actually using the app. It is absolutely irritating and frustrating and I totally give these guys I have been giving them a lot of grief. As much as I'd like to say you have to be really nice and sweet, I try to be initially. But if somebody really, really ticks me off, if you don't have a profile picture and you're like, uh, hi, send pics, you know, first learn to speak the language. Talk nice. Be respectful. You know, um, I just can't understand why this isn't possible. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you end up blocking guys like this, and I, I just wonder, are these guys brought up this way? Do the apps make them behave in this sort of weird, sort of um, very, very crass and vulgar way? Um, you know, do they lose all sense, all semblance of dignity? Um, it, it sort of, it makes me uh, not such a nice person as well. Um, you know, if everyone were nice to each other and you did things the right way, you said, hey, you sent a picture, um, you know, and then I said, hey, and if I liked your picture, I sent a picture, things would go a lot more smoothly. We would waste less time having to respond to messages, having to block, you know, somebody, you have to go back, block, you know, do all of that. Why? That just adds to the stress levels, it adds to your irritation, um, it's no good. So can't we just be a little uh, more sensible and respectful? From? There are some guys who will just say, from. And I'm like, from? Um, you know, at points I wonder, do they think I'm from another country? Um, maybe I need to be more clear in my profile that no, I'm from here. Uh, um, and a lot of times I have just responded, my mother's womb, because that's where I'm from. Um, and, but basically it's about location, so it's like where, which part of the city you're from, and that's all well and good, but maybe you should try saying, where are you at? Um, where do you stay? Whereabouts do you stay? Um, you know, uh, something uh, to that effect rather than from. Um, and uh, pix, please, with the z's. Um, really, that's the most irritating. So just like, can we not do all this, oh, I like you? Uh, can we actually say why, oh, you? Um, that would be much, much more preferable. So sending photos to each other, you probably need to send a photo with your hi. I get a lot of highs, but no photo with that hi, and then I have to ask for it. It doesn't make sense, it's just a waste of time. So, you know, if I like somebody, even though I have my profile photo on, um, and I say hi to them, I may just say hey to them because I have a profile photo, but if I really like them, I'll send a couple of pictures as well, um, you know, um, and yeah, yeah, it just sort of makes things a lot quicker and easier. And I think you guys need to do that as well, especially if you don't have a profile picture and then you say, hi, doesn't make sense. Um, I, uh, you know, a, a nice profile picture is always good. And I've talked about, you know, not wearing sunglasses, wearing something nice, using a nice background. Um, take a range of pictures, like I have underwear pictures, of course, I have pictures of me uh, formally dressed, of me with my dog, or in a different pose, or a different, you know, um, place in my room. Um, and, yeah, so if, if I get pictures that, um, and I'm not interested, then for the most part I won't reply. So I've been reading uh, um, online about, you know, whether you should actually reply and say, sorry, I'm not interested. Um, for the most part, I think it should be taken, like if somebody doesn't reply to you, they're obviously not interested. Um, unless you don't have a profile pic and then they say hi and you don't reply, I'm not going to reply. Until you send me a picture, I'm not going to reply to you. Um, and if you have a picture and if I want more, maybe I'll ask you, could you send me a couple of more pictures or would it be cool to send me some more pictures? It's the way you are sometimes, instead of just saying pics, more pics, send pics, you know. Um, you know, we're not 
we got, I mean, even baboons sort of can be more articulate. Uh, even gorillas can be much, much more creative. And I think we should not sink to, you know, lower and lower levels. These apps, um, as simplistic as they are at many times, should not make us sort of debase ourselves. Um, you know, uh, I just, I think that and a lot of times when I when I wonder about people not sharing their pictures or not putting up a profile picture and I'm like, you know, stop hiding in the shadows. You're not a criminal. You don't want people to treat you differently than stop behaving like, you know, and, and stop behaving crudely and, and in, a, in a vulgar way. Um, you know, there is nothing wrong in stringing to together a whole sentence or sending across some really nice pictures to somebody. Send current photos, um, you know, where you're smiling and because, you know, ultimately you're going to go out with this person, you're going to meet this person, you want to you wanna see them, right? You want to see how they look before that's what's going to attract you to meet them. Um, don't send pictures uh, with you with somebody else or with a group of people because it's just confusing and I'm like, okay, which one is this? And he's probably the least attractive one out of all of them. Uh -huh. So don't do that. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's just confusing as well. Um, and if a person doesn't reply, I think it's pretty much, you know, agreed that that means they're not interested. So don't write back and say, interested? Question mark, question mark. Reply, question mark, question mark. Um, no, it, that doesn't make any sense either. If they were interested, they would have replied to you. Um, which is not to say you can't try again. And I've had people who've sent me two pictures and I've not replied. And then a couple of days later, they send me a hi and they send me the very same two pictures. And I'm like, well, the least you could have done was change the pictures around a bit. Right? I mean, obviously those pictures don't work. Try some other pictures. What you say um, and what you put across in a profile is just as important as your picture, I think, sometimes. Um, and uh, not, I think, probably, you know, 5% of the guys um, on these apps actually write something very meaningful about themselves um, in the app. Um, you know, uh, and it's it's sad because sometimes I think if you know you you may not look um, as good if you've written something nice that's going to attract me to you because that's who you are that's your personality the hottest of looking guys with their hot profiles have written really crap like you know you know just old people and uggos excuse. Um, basically saying that we, I don't want, and I'm, I'm turned off by that. I'm just like, I don't care how you look. If that's what you're writing in your profile, I don't even want to hook up with you, let alone uh, do anything, like go on a date with you. Um, so yeah, so I, I think what's, what you've written should complement your picture, or it should at least sort of give some idea of your personality. You can tell me, um, what you like, what you do, um, what you're looking for, um, what type of guys you prefer. So it saves time because then I, 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 I know what that person wants um, and you know the language you use and you know it, uh, sometimes if it's poetic it's interesting and sometimes if it's clever uh, or funny that's nice too um, because it gives you an idea of the type of person that is, and then you make a little bit of an extra effort. Um, so, you know, it, even if it is a hookup, what's wrong in actually making an effort to write something? What's wrong in saying, you know, I'm looking for a hot guy to have sex with tonight. Um, hopefully we can both have a smile on our faces tomorrow morning in the crowded train. Uh, you know, uh, just, just something that will sort of be charming. I think there's no charm in these apps. I find that Tinder probably has um, a little bit more where people make more of an effort to actually say something um, and because, you know, Grindr tends to be very hookup oriented. Um, so since I'm on the topic of Tinder, um, let me just mention that uh, one thing I found, I, I don't find it as effective as Grindr probably, 
It's uh, is it when you swipe, like if I swipe and we've not matched, and then say 10 minutes or half an hour later, um, you swipe um, after I've swiped, and it's a match, and you and you get that whole match thing on. Uh, it is customary. It is. Um, respectful and it is the right thing to do for you to send me a message okay if I have swiped and I get match which means you've already swiped me then I'm gonna message you and say hey you know how are you doing um, I think that's the right way to do it and if you don't message the other person um, when the match thing appears uh, I think that's not right and so what I do is if you know the other person is swiped and matched and I get a notification that you've got a new match um, I wait for the message I'm like okay you need to send me a message uh, and uh, sometimes I mean a lot of times they do and sometimes they don't uh, what I found is if they're really hot looking guys or if they're really cute or whatever um, or especially if they're guys from another country they won't send me the first message and I'm like and before I would take a little bit of a chance and I would say hey and maybe that would work out, but I'm just like, no, I'll wait for like a day maybe, and then I'll just unmatch you. Uh, because I think that's just fair if you think that having a long list of matches makes you feel like a better person, uh, then good for you. Uh, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to actually meet a person. I'd rather have five people on there who I'm actually talking to and meeting than 50 hot looking guys who haven't bothered to message me. They're all assholes. So it's really easy uh, to get irritable with these guys on these apps sometimes. <laughs> uh, and I have gotten irritated as well and told them, yay, hey, you know, get an education first before you start using this app. Um, I think that um, uh, it, it's good to have a little bit of patience and I found that at some point of time when you know, I've gotten a message and they haven't sent me a picture and I've been like, oh, you know, you're rude and you don't know how to use the app and just delete it till you, you learn some manners and they'll be like, no, I'm really sorry and they send me pictures and they're like, uh, I apologize and that sort of wins me over in a way because they've been patient enough and they've realized their mistake. Um, so I think it it works both ways. Um, you know, if the other person responds well and understands your point of view, then um, it works out. What I want you to understand is that these apps are a way for us to meet nice people who we otherwise wouldn't meet in the circles um, that we that we live in or the bubbles that we live in and um, it's difficult enough meeting nice people and to have really bad experiences on these apps disappoints it discourages it dejects um, it makes you wonder if you will find somebody and I think that uh, for those of you who understand and try and make it a better environment for everybody um, to interact, um, have a good chat, share your phone number, uh, get onto WhatsApp. Don't do WhatsApp for too long because that's not good either. Talk to the person. I prefer, you know, I'd rather just calling and talking to a person because that's the only way that you're ever going to get to know, okay, their voice, yes, it sounds like somebody I can talk to. You know, you do an endless chat on WhatsApp and then you talk to the person like, oh my God. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense. So, graduate from that. And if you meet somebody from one of these apps and you really, really like them, I, I really think that um, maybe you should invest more in keeping in touch with them rather than swiping and uh, messaging other guys, meeting other guys, because for a lot of times these apps are distraction. It's variety, right? At the end of the day, we wonder why we don't find that one person because we have 50 other people we can keep swiping and keep messaging, um, and that probably prevents us from giving time or exploring what we can have with one person that we. You may not think that you're totally in love with them or you're totally attracted to them, but they may be nice and you may develop something with them. And I've been guilty of this too. Um, but, you know, these apps, we spend time on them and then what do they get us? Sometimes 
not even a good hookup. <laughs> and, uh, so I, this is what I, I just thought that I wanted to really, really do um, a video about this. I know it's a longer video, um, and uh, I hope you guys will sort of look at this and try to change your habits in case there's some things that sort of I made sense to you. And um, yeah, and maybe tell your friends that this is the way. And maybe teach a class about how to use these apps. I don't know. Um, so anyway, um, have a good time on these apps. Um, write to me and tell me the experiences that you've had as well. And uh, hopefully y you and I will find somebody uh, special. And I know somebody's gonna, somebody's so gonna say, Oh dude, if you think you're gonna find somebody special out of Grindr, you've got another thing coming, or you're already stupid. Um, that's probably true. I've actually made a lot of nice friends. A lot of friends that I have that have been around for a couple of years have been from Grindr. Uh, so I don't agree um, that you can't find somebody. Um, of course, there are lots of apps. Um, that just depends on maybe a little bit of luck, maybe the universe, who knows. Anyway, um, happy hunting and I'll see you soon.